In this video, we're going to have a look at how the author who's logged in can see their posts. And the use case would be where you might have uh, some drafts and pending posts. And when the author logs in, they want to be able to see which of their posts are in the draft mode or pending mode on the front end. And to show you how this works here, we have the drafts and pending posts. What I'm going to do now is go into posts and I'm going to head over to this pending post. We'll just do a quick edit and I'm going to change the author from author one to author two and update. Now when we head over to the website, you'll see that that pending post is no longer visible. And we just have this um, draft post visible. So I'm going to head over into the back end then and we're going to go to that draft post and do the same thing. I'm going to change it from author one to author two update and now we shouldn't see any posts. We'll refresh and no posts are visible. Go back in and I'm going to change them back to author one. So we'll update that. And then also then for the draft post and for the pending post, we're going to change them back to author one update, head over to the website. Now when we refresh, you'll see that both posts are visible. So what we're doing now is we're just using that query vars filter from uh, Bricks to make that work. So let's go ahead and have a look at that snippet. So in a previous video, we created a snippet and in that snippet, we targeted this particular content element and we said to just show posts with a status of pending or draft. Now what we want to do is only show pending or draft for the author who's logged in. And in order to make that work, we create a function and here we have the function. And first thing we do is we check is the user logged in. Then the author ID is equal to the get the current user ID. And in this function, then we just return the author ID. And if I scroll down then here to the filter, so that's the query var filter, the bricks post query vars filter. You'll see then we have a look at query vars author, and then we just put in the the name of the function that we created because that will return the ID of the logged in user. And that's also then the ID of the author. So that's pretty much how we put that together. So very quickly create a function, check if the user is logged in, get their ID, return the ID, and then in the post query vars filter, we just set the author name then and we insert that function like that. And that then will ensure that the posts that we view on the front end in that content element are by that logged in author.